Terrain profiles that show the changes in elevation can be very helpful for some types of maps, especially those for outdoor activities, such as hiking or biking. These are easy to create in QGIS. Here are the steps. Create a new QGIS project and load a base map of your choice. You can use XYZ tiles or the Quick Map services or other base map plugins. For this tutorial, I'll use the HCM GIS plugin and load the Esri topographic map. Zoom in to the area of interest. I've chosen a section of Shenandoah National Park in Virginia where I used to go hiking. Now you need ADEM file of the area. You can get this using whatever method you usually use. A really easy way is to use the Open Topography DEM plugin. This is much easier than fooling around with the USGS National Map or the Open Topography website. Install the plugin. Now you're ready to get the DEM. I'll select the plugin by going to Raster, Open Topography DEM. You'll see this. You'll need a free API key for this. Here's the link to get it. The first menu lets you select from several datasets. I'll select SRTM30 as the dataset. You also need to select the area to download. Pull down the second menu and select Use Current Map Canvas Extent. You can also draw a box if you prefer. Click Run. Here's what I get. Move the DEM layer below the base map layer. Get the Profile tool by going to Plugins, Profile Tool, Terrain Profile. This window will appear. Select the DEM layer in the Layers panel. In the Profile Tool window, click Add Layer. The DEM layer should appear in the box. The cursor should now be a plus sign. Click in the map where you want the profile line to begin, then double-click to end it. The profile will appear. If you move the cursor inside the profile box, you'll get an elevation reading for that specific point in the Y-axis box. The point will be displayed on the map. Save the profile by choosing a format and clicking Save As. If you're going to use this in a print project, export the profile as an SVG. The PNG export is low resolution. Open the SVG file in Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator, and you can easily improve the graph by connecting the endpoints and giving it a solid fill color. This is easy to do in Illustrator, but in case you don't feel like spending $60 a month to use it, here's how to do it in Inkscape. Open the SVG file in Inkscape. QGIS sets the background to black and the profile to red for some reason. We'll fix that. The first thing I want to do is delete the two boxes for the X and Y axis. Hold down the control key and click these to select them. You'll see little arrows around them, then delete. Next, I'll delete the horizontal and vertical red lines by control clicking and deleting. Now I'll click in the black area to select the background and set the fill to none. You can also select a color if you want. We need to turn the profile path into a closed shape so we can give it a color fill. First, zoom in to one of the endpoints, then select the path by clicking on it with the node tool to show the individual points. Click on the endpoint and drag it down to the baseline. Go to the left side of the profile and repeat this. Zoom out until you can see the entire profile. Using the Node tool, click on one of the new baseline endpoints, hold down Shift, and click on the other one. Then click on the Join Selected End Nodes with a new segment button. This will join the endpoints with a new line. Now that the profile is a closed shape, we can apply a fill color. Control click on the profile line to select it, then apply fill and stroke colors to suit. Here I've applied a fill of dark green and no stroke. You can also fill the profile with a gradient or pattern if you prefer. You can also trace the profile of a road or trail by creating a segmented line instead of a straight one. 
Just click the cursor to create a point, then double click when you're done. Check out my 900 plus page designer's guide to creating great maps at themapguide.net and download two free chapters. That's it for now. See you next time.